Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. You are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Libra, you know the drill. General energy checking. It's not going to resonate with all of you as there are a lot of you in the collective. So take what resonates with you and discard the rest. Now, this is just a sneak peek at what is coming towards you, what you are manifesting, or what Spirit wants you to be aware of in the new year, 2022. Okay, so if you are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, if you are interested in getting a uh, reading or a personal reading or a live reading over the phone, you can hit me up. All that information is located in my description box. So you can hit me up on the live line, Your Harmonic Wave, or you can book a personal reading with me. Okay, so all of that info is in the description box. Uh, FYI, disclaimer, it is the holidays. I am home with my children. So you may hear some background noise. I apologize in advance. It is what it is, okay? So some cards have already been shuffled and drawn. And I'm pulling, just giving you a sneak peek at what's going on in various areas of your life. So in general, you have uh, the Fool in Reverse <laughs> and the Chariot in Reverse. Libra, what the fuck? <laughs> Whoever or whatever this is, you said no, no. I'm hearing, bye Felicia, nah bitch, nah nigga. Like, you're not going towards somebody at all. Not for nothing. Mm-mm. Not a chance. There's not a chance in heaven, hell or earth, for somebody. Oh, boy. Spirit, please clarify the chariot in reverse and the fool in reverse. I have to laugh, Libra, because you ain't fucking around with somebody. Mm -mm. Oh, no. Oh, no, boo-boo. Take a leap of faith. Yeah, the fuck right. Mm-hmm. Nope. You're doing what's best for you now, boo-boo. Good job. Good job. Yes. Oh, some of you, you deadass know that someone's a liar, a cheater, a deceiver, heartbreaker. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you deadass know that someone is not a good person, point blank, period. You may refer to them as the devil or a demon. Someone calls their ex a demon mm -hmm. or the devil. <laughs> your name for them on your phone is the devil. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Or demon. I'm, I'm seeing demon, demo. Oh, boy. But, Spirit, can I get some more? Can I get some more, please? Wow. Libra, you've healed from some deception. Uh, someone could have dealt with you real wrong or real dirty. Someone did something very shady to you. And you healed from this. And you healed because of your faith, because you believe in yourself, because you believe that you could do better. Good job, baby. Good job. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're not you're not getting back. I mean, and this is just a segue into love. OK, for 2022, you got six of cups in reverse. OK, now. I feel like you don't feel the same way about someone anymore. You see someone for who they are. You don't see a future with someone. And if someone wants to be stuck in the past and be in this, um, be all nostalgic, that's on them. But when it comes to how you feel about them, your energy is like zero, zero fox given. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You could have been dealing, oh, there you are. Some of you could have been dealing with the earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Oh, yeah. Libra, no. <laughs> when it comes to love, someone is going to try to come back from the past. This could be an ex. For some of you, this is someone that you dated briefly. It wasn't even anything serious to you, but they want it to be serious. I feel like you are, you love yourself. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is hashtag self-love is the best love. Because this is where you're at. This is where you are at, Libra. Yes. 
you you're loyal to yourself you're focusing on build if you have a business building a business getting your career in order getting your life in order uh, laying a solid stable firm foundation growth you're about growth and progress mm -hmm. some of you you just you're okay being single you're single you're ready to mingle you're having a good time you're not in any of that your your loyalties lie to yourself mm -hmm. they lie with you mm -hmm. you are there's something that you're growing that you're building it is going to be very fertile and you know that it's like there's something that you know that you're good at and you're doing it. This is, if you're going to do it big, do it big then. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Dream big. Dream bigger. And that's what you're doing. You have mastered something. Uh, you're in the process of mastering something. You are aligned with what you should be doing. And you are going to see some really good returns when it comes to uh, love, um, prosperity. You know what it is, Libra? You leveled all the way up. And anybody that comes around you now or tries to step into your sphere or your world, they have to be leveled up as well. Mm -hmm. Because you know better, so you're doing better. That's a, that's a good energy to be in, in the new year. Mm -hmm. A lot of you, you're not in your feelings about things anymore. You've healed yourself. Any emotional uh, baggage, any hurt, anger, resentment, you're not even on that. You're happy. You're focused on bigger and better things. Somebody does look at you, though, as fulfillment. They look at you as, I want to say, the light of their life. They look at you as someone who's loyal, someone who is really good at something. You could have mastered something. Someone who is very uh, fertile. You can grow things with. You can build something with. Someone looks at you like that, Libra. Like your proper things. Yes. And they know it. As a matter of fact, this is someone who just sees the facts. Like, this is... This is the type of person that I want to be with. If I was going to settle down, I want to settle down with Libra. This is why this person is coming around, Libra. But that shit doesn't even matter. <laughs> because you don't want this person. No, not even a little bit, bro. Not even a little bit. Spirit, please clarify Knight of Coins. So when it comes to career and finances, you have Knight of Coins in reverse. This may be a theme for the... The air signs, because I got this for Gemini as well. Square, please clarify Knight of Coins in reverse. Libra, when it comes to doing business or working with people, you know your truth. You know who you are. And I feel like you know who's best to work with and who, who is not to. Who is not to be trusted. You're also very much in tune with your intuition. You are listening to your higher self when it comes to making investments, doing any type of uh, business transactions with anyone, working with people, very much listening to yourself mm -hmm. because you know who you are. You know, there's something that you do, Libra, that ain't nobody can do it like you. You are the best. I want to say top tier, top shelf, mm -hmm. the best of the best. No one can do it like you. This is your gift. This is your calling. You're walking in it. You're embracing it. You're embodying it. I love it. Yes, I do. So you are going to be vetting people very, very carefully. And the thing is, what I like about this, Libra, you're not just going on Google and doing little searches and, and name searches and stuff on people. No, no, no. You're checking someone's energy at the door. Mm-hmm. You're reading into people's energy. What are you bringing to the table? You want to do business with me? You want to work with me? You want me to work with you? You want to do some kind of business transaction? Okay. Let me see what kind of energy you are. Let me see if I'm even going to invest my time because I don't waste my time. Libra, there you are. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. You're on a new path when it comes to career and finances. You're doing bigger and better things. Things that are aligned with who you are. Things that allow you to express yourself and be unique. Things that allow you to tap into your intuition. Your intuition is going to guide you and lead you very far, Libra, in the new year. Because you know who you are. You know what you want. And you're now you're looking at the bigger picture of your life. What you want for you. So you're not quick to move towards certain opportunities. Uh, certain ventures, adventures, when it comes to career. You're not about being risky and th throwing money here and uh, being real careless and reckless with your finances. You're not doing that. Mm -mm. Some of you may be holding on to your money real tight because 
if your intuition doesn't give you the green light, you're not going nowhere. Mm -hmm. And some of you, like I said, okay, in the beginning, your energy going into 2022 is you ain't doing nothing. If you know that someone is all talk and no action, you ain't fucking with them. Mm -hmm. If you know someone likes to spin stories, but they never really follow through, or they like to tell you that they're going to do this and do that, and it never seems to happen, you could wait. Until God comes and leaves and comes again. It will never happen. Okay? You ain't fucking with people like that anymore. Mm -hmm. On no level. No level. Wow. A lot of you too. You may be going down a new path when it comes to... You could have started a new business. Or you've gotten to some... I want to say vocation, profession, career... Some of you have even started a new job. Um, you find it very fun. It allows you to... Someone got a job in a costume store or selling costumes or something like that. Or, But you love it. <laughs> and you're using your intuition. It led you to what you're doing now, right? Uh, a lot of you too, you may be at a crossroads uh, in terms of what it is you want to do, what direction you want to go in. But whatever it is, you're using your intuition on, and aligning yourself with things that allow you to be just who you are, to continue to be your best self, mm -hmm. and continue to um, share your gills, gills, skills, talents, knowledge, whatever it is that you do only the way you can do it, whatever you've mastered, that's what you're going into. Libra, you may feel uh, unmotivated in the new year to do things or go towards opportunities or people that don't align with who you really are or what you really want to do with yourself or even just the bigger picture of your life so you may find that you may be dissing people or people may look at you like you diss them because like I said if this does not align with what you want for your life and where you want to go and who you are you're not interested. And some people may take offense to that, but that's on them. You're on a new path, a new journey for yourself, by yourself, right? Creating the life that you want. And you are very much following your intuition. Mm -hmm. Especially when it comes to career and finances, Libra, you're on the right track, okay? You're staying away from the things and the people that you have no business with and attracting the things and the people that you do. Good job, good job. Uh, I'm being compelled to tell you if you've done business or you've worked with people before that have shown you their true colors, Spirit saying they may try to come back in the new year with some other business deal or investment or want you to work with them again. Use your intuition. I feel like this goes into the overall theme of you not fucking with anybody who's on some bullshit. And who's shown you that they are a snake, snake oil dealer, snake in the grass, shady, grimy, not to be trusted. Anybody like that. Anyone that fits in those categories or is on that list, don't fucks with them. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please clarify five of swords. When it comes to health, you have five of swords, Libra. Spirit, please clarify five of swords. You may be feeling tired uh, because you have to juggle a lot. Or maybe feeling overwhelmed, exhausted from having a lot of responsibilities. Feeling like you can't um, you can't manage everything. You're being asked to talk about whatever's bothering you. Because um energy is it's ever changing, it's ever fluid. But with energy, if it doesn't go somewhere, it will just build, right? And if, if you're not talking about things that are bothering you or that are on your heart or on your head, you're storing the energy. You're going to implode. So you have to release it somewhere with venting, even if it's just speaking to your guides, angels, ancestors, or looking for a counselor or therapist. I feel like you're being asked to speak to someone about things that you're holding inside you may be feeling overwhelmed about all the responsibility that you have. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
And you may not even realize that you need to talk to someone about things. Libra, there's someone in this collective, you don't like to tell people your problems. Mm -hmm. And you look like you come off as someone who has their shit together, but you don't tell people what's going on with you. And Spirit's like, that's not a, a good thing. It's not a good way to be, okay? And, and you don't see that. Someone could really be um, very private. Mm -hmm. Privacy is a big thing to you. You may not um, even have much social media profiles, or if you do, they are heavily curated. Yes, I said it. I said it. They look perfect. But it's not a, a real depiction of what's going on in your life. And you know what? At the end of the day, it's social media. You know, some things should be separate. I, I agree. Everybody doesn't need to know what's going on with your life, especially if they're not adding value to it. Mm -hmm. But Spirit is saying for some of you, when it comes to your health, you may need to speak to someone about what's going on within you uh, because it's affecting your energy. You could be feeling really tired, really depleted. Someone ex is exhausted. I want to yawn right now. Like you're always tired. It doesn't matter how much sleep you get. You're always tired. This also talks about uh, you may need, need to look at changing up your diet, maybe being vegetarian or vegan, but adding more greens. I'm seeing 80-20 in my third eye. So that is the concept of having 80% of your plate as greens, um, veggies, or just something colorful, and then 20% is something else, right? But more than half of your plate should be covered in fruits and vegetables. Some of you may be in denial about that, you that you may have an eating disorder, and Spirit is asking you to speak to someone because you may not think that you need to speak to someone about it. Or even a nutritionist, mm -hmm. Just thought you may not think that, you may think that you know how to eat healthy and live a healthy lifestyle, but Spirit is saying um, there's always room for improvement and you can always learn from someone. Mm -hmm. So someone is being asked to see a nutritionist as well and talk to them about your lifestyle changes, your goals, because you're kind of a little bit in denial about it. <laughs> okay, Like, I'm fine, I'm good, I have my smoothie. I have my smoothie, and, and yeah, I went to McDonald's four times today, but I had a smoothie this morning, so I'm good. Um, maybe you should talk to someone. They can help you um, find equilibrium there. Yeah, okay. Some of you, Spirit wants you to see that you are perfectly capable of healing whatever illness you have or recovering from whatever illness from this fatigue, this exhaustion, you can manage your life. You do not have to feel stressed or burdened or anxious about things. Once you start to open up and talk to someone, someone is really being told to seek a counselor or a therapist. I do offer spiritual counseling sessions. If it is something that you are interested in, that information is in the description box. But Spirit wants you to be confident in yourself and uh, knowing that you will feel better again and your health will be restored. It's like recognizing that if you want to be better, you need to feel better. And then going even deeper and realizing, uh, observing your thoughts on what it is that makes me feel so shitty. Why do I feel so shitty? What can I do about this? What can I do about this in ways that are going to help me, my overall well-being, my health, mind, body, and soul? Health is not just your physical body. You are a whole being, mind, body, soul. So in terms of your health, you learning how to feel more confident within yourself, believing in yourself, recognizing that you are perfectly capable of uh, creating whatever it is you want. If you want to have... I'm someone saying the perfect body or revenge body or uh, but they don't want to do surgery it's first like you can go to the gym if you want to go to the gym you can watch those YouTube workout videos you can change up your uh, lifestyle your eating habits mm -hmm. someone you're switching to is it sparkling sparkling wine or you're not drinking heavy liquors anymore you're drinking like light, lighter wines and stuff you're even going to like is it fat free fat free liquor what, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Skinny, I just heard skinny bitch. <laughs> you drinking skinny bitch? Okay. But Spirit's like, you, you can do this if you want to do this. If you, you just need to feel better in yourself. Recognize that you are in control of your life. 
You are in control of your outcome. It's your life. How do you want it to be? This is your body. How do you want it to look? How do you want to feel? You're responsible for that. Uh, in 2022, Libra, some of you may be going into counseling or, or AA. Someone is being asked to be real with themselves now about uh, some addiction that they have. This could be drinking. Drinking is a big one. And to believe in yourself that you can kick this habit. But uh, some of you, just some things that you've gone through has just left you absolutely drained, exhausted, tired. Okay, just trying to keep all the balls up in the air and just manage your life and be a responsible adult has got you tired. And Spirit's saying it's okay to talk to someone about how you feel. There's nothing wrong with that. And it's okay to, to open up. To someone that you trust to open up you don't have to hold everything in all this all the time because mm -hmm. someone here dead ass just doesn't want to admit that they need to speak to someone about some things that's going on with them or going on in their life hmm. when it comes to spirituality libra you have ten of wands in reverse Libra, I can't make this up, you know. I really can't. But when it comes to your spirituality, it's tied to your health. It's tied to everything. It's tied to everything because you are a soul creating a human experience, okay? So you got Ten of Wands in reverse, and that talks about you taking on too much, feeling absolutely exhausted and drained. This is why you may feel like this in the new year because you may be trying to be everything to everybody. So spirit is telling you to recognize that no is a whole and complete sentence and it's okay to make time for yourself. You're being asked to take extra good care of yourself, to put yourself first and make sure you're tending to your needs first. You're pouring into your cups first. If you need to get more rest, if you need to take a little vacation, if you need to go on a vacation, uh, someone's being asked to go somewhere hot or be by water. Water is very soothing or healing or greenery outside. There's something to do with outside. I'm hearing like cottage, cabin, um, beach house. But it would do you some, some real deal R&R would be great for you. Mm -hmm. First, I don't forget to take care of yourself, Libra, while you're busy taking care of everybody else. Okay? And don't think about taking care of yourself. Do it. This is a new year, new you. In this cycle, you see the bigger picture of things and you recognize that you are no you of no use to anybody if you can't do anything for yourself. If you are not feeling good in yourself, you're not going to be able to help anybody feel good or be that bright shining light that you are. You're recognizing that it's important that you're doing well, mind, body, and soul. Mm -hmm. You're taking care of yourself. You're nourishing yourself. You're feeding yourself. Uh, okay. This is self-love is the best love. This is not selfish. Like I said, some of you. Some people may look at you like you dissed them, but you didn't. You're taking care of you. Someone wants to go out. So I feel like someone, someone you have friends or a friend that always invites you out. They, they like to party and that's cool, right? You're here for it sometimes, but you're recognizing that you need to be a responsible adult or you're working on some bigger things in your life. So you're not focused on that or, or not as much anymore. This goes back to you recognizing that there's certain areas of your life and certain behaviors that you need to change now because they are not helping you. Someone you used to party a lot, a whole lot. Mm -hmm. I mean like come home, throw up, pass out, wake up in the morning with a hangover and do it all over again the next day. And you're not about that life anymore. But some people that you have around you are. So spirits like you're, you need to learn or you're going to be learning how to set boundaries with people and dropping burdens, okay? Letting people know that they're responsible for their own shit. For those of you that try to fix everything for everybody, not in 2022, honey. <laughs> 
You're focused on fixing your own life, building, growing, maintaining, attending your own garden. That's what Spirit said to focus on. Mm -hmm. Everybody is responsible for their own spark. And you go, we're going around, Libra, trying to be everything to everybody, people pleasing, trying to take care of 99 things. And you were leaving yourself off the list. You weren't taking care of yourself. So I feel like your, for 2022, a major theme for you is about really taking care of yourself in all areas of your life on all levels, mind, body, and soul. Because you can't be anything to anybody if you are not good with yourself first. So where can I get one more for Ten of Wands in Reverse? You're starting to realize that, or you will be realizing that in 2022, yeah. That you've been making uh, the same mistakes by overdoing things, uh, trying to people please, taking on too much responsibility, taking on other people's burdens, trying to solve everyone's problems. You, you realize that that's what you've been doing for a minute, and you're not going into 2022 doing that anymore. Spirit is advice, strongly advising you not to do that, and I feel like you take the hint. Mm -hmm. Because you are, <laughs> no is going to be your favorite word. No, sorry, I'm busy, can't do that right now, honestly. Yeah, I know, I know I'm home, and I'm just chilling out, I'm having a glass of wine, I just want to chill out, Netflix and chill with myself, or just hang out with my kids. No, I'm not going out tonight. Oh, you know what? I went out. We went out last month. I'm, I'm just kind of busy right now. You know, I'm working on some things. That's what you're going to be like. That's what your attitude is going to be like. Mm -hmm. And some people may look at you like Libra thinks that they're too busy for me. But no, you're not. You are busy minding your own business. Literally. For those of you, if you started a business, stream of income, a new career, you are minding your business. Hats off to you. That's great. Absolutely great. As you're recognizing things about yourself that you need to heal. Some of you, you recognize this because you do go and see that counselor or that therapist. And you are, um, you're able to go to the source of, the source of. Spirit, can I get some last words of guidance and advice? Practical guidance and advice that Libra can use and do now, moving into 2022. Thank you. It's getting kind of dark in here. I'm going to turn on the lights soon, but I like the vibe. <laughs> it's quiet and soothing. Okay, let's see here. Honor your sensitivities. Some of you Libras, you find that you don't like being around groups of people uh, too often or for too long. Mm -hmm. As an empath, it's very important for you to protect your energy, and you realize that. So you're not doing the hangout, hangout thing anymore with anybody for too long or extended periods of time or even too often. You're, like I said, you're focused on bigger and better things. Spirit wants you to take extra good care of yourself today. Okay? You can't be everything for everybody, but you can be everything for yourself. So take care of you. Seek proper treatment to heal allergies or sensitivities. Your current sensitivities carry an important message. Your sensitivities are special, unique gifts. Boldly explore a heightened sense of psychic awareness. Mm -hmm. And that's what I got here. So when it comes to business and finance, Libras, as long as you continue to listen to your intuition, you're a winner. Okay, what do they say? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, because your intuition is gold. Heightened intuition. A lot of you, you're dead ass psychics here. You just know when someone's coming with some bullshit. You don't know how you know. Let me tell you. <laughs> okay? You are a psychic. Heightened awareness. You are highly intuitive. Honor your sensitivities. Trust yourself. Something doesn't feel right with someone, it isn't. Something feels right with somebody, it is. Hmm. Honor yourself. And that's you did learning how to say no and sorry, I'm doing something else right now. I'm not interested. Mm -hmm. Swear, can I get one more for Libra, please? Can I get one more for Libra? The path you take. A detour or a challenge holds an important lesson for you. Learn how to get out of your own way in order to progress. And that's what this is. You learning how to drop burdens and stress and anxiety and let people deal with their own shit 
Practice patience if you're experiencing resistance. You're exactly where you need to be right now, Libra. The right opportunities will continue to appear for you because why? You're using your discernment. You're listening to your higher self. You're following your intuition. Spirit wants you to have the courage to walk down a new path, okay? Mm -hmm. Like I said, this is a new cycle, a new journey for you, a new chapter. These pages are blank, Libra. What are you going to write on them now? Mm -hmm. I'm hearing, um, is it J. Cole? Um, Life is my canvas, and I'm a painted how I want to paint it, baby. Hmm. Okay, it's your turn now, Libra. It's your time. Design your life exactly the way you want it. Hmm. Spirit gave you the green light. So with that being said, Libra, I'm going to leave this here. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.